In this video, I demonstrate how to use Excel's solver to solve the razors and blades problem. First, on the sheet called historical data, we have some data about historical razor price and sales. The first step is to figure out the relationship between price and sales. To do this, select the two columns of data, insert, scatter chart and here we're going to use data points directly so what this chart has shown us are the historical relationships between price and sales so the horizontal axis is price and the vertical axis is sales as you can see the relationship between these two things looks familiar it's very similar to the demand curve that we've been talking about there appears to be a downward sloped line going through these dots so how do we take advantage of the data in order to find out the demand curve then so here we're going to use a statistical tool called regression to do it and here i'm going to use a simplified way to find out the regression line so on these dots right click and choose add trend line this would pop up a menu where it allows you to add a trend line to it what i need here is i want to first display r square and then display equation the output here that we see y equals minus 20.535 times x plus 510.09 this, if you consider X as the price and Y as the sales, this actually gives us the demand curve where sales is equal to 510.09 minus 20.535 times price. So this is the demand curve for the razors next we are going to take advantage of this demand curve to price razors and blades so now move to the tab pricing razors based on the regression output we know the intercept is 510.09 and the slope is minus 20.535 and here is some additional information on average for each razor we can sell 26 blades and the profit from each blade is 50 cents so i have laid out two sections on the excel spreadsheet to consider two different conditions on the first condition we look at pricing razors without considering blades on the second one we look at pricing razors considering the profit from blades we are going to look at when using these two different criteria how the optimal price of razors differ first without considering blades and the price is the number we're trying to optimize using solver let me just put a random number here ten dollars and the demand this is equal to that's our demand curve b3 minus 20.535 times price we know for each razor the number of blades is 26 so the demand for blades would be equal to the demand for razor times 26 and the profit from the razor would be this number times the profit margin and the profit here from razor alone is equal to price minus unit variable cost times demand and the total profit would be the sum of the two if we don't consider profits from blades then we're going to optimize 
this number, the profit of razor, to find out the optimal price of razors. We go to data, solver, and the objective is the razor profit alone by changing the cell price. And again, we're going to use the GIG linear, click solve, it's done. So the optimal price is 1492 and the total profit is 4669. Next, we consider pricing razors considering the profit from blades. The process is similar. First, the price is what I'm going to solve for. And I'll just put in 10 here. And the demand is, again, equal to times price. So the blade demand is equal to this number times 26. And the blade profit is equal to the blade demand times 50 cents per blade. And the profit for razor is equal to price minus unit cost times sales. And total profit is equal to the sum of razors and blades. Here, I'm going to run solver again. Data, solver. The objective, instead of looking at the profit from razors alone, I'm going to set the target as the total profit from razors and blades by changing variable cells of razor price and click solve. It's done. Now, both of these prices are optimized under different conditions. This is an important marketing problem where you can charge a low price on razors and as a result, you sell more razors and you sell more blades. So you may not make as much money from razors, 1,153 versus 2,021, but because you sell so many more razors, you also sell many more blades, and at the end of the day, you actually gain a higher profit from setting a low razor price and making the money back from blades. That's how to use Excel to find the demand curve and solve the razors and the blades problem. Thank you. I'll see you next time.